Hi everyone and welcome back to this brand new video from Make Print Repeat. Today we will be working on a DIY project on making a key holding logo. The idea started with me seeing a, a video of how a smart door lock worked. And these door locks you usually have a fingerprint sensor and a keypad to enter a passcode. So I thought that I could make this cheaper and cooler through the use of PCBs and 3D design. Therefore I designed a PCB that could control some motors and a housing that could house the PCB and all of, of the motion components. Then I contacted PCBWay to produce some of, of these parts like the two layer PCB, a keychain machine out of stainless steel and some motion com components made out of nylon 12. And PCBWay can also pr pr produce many more files with different manufacturing techniques. Then I had to divide the 3D model into di different files that would fit the build plate of my printers and some of the parts were printed on the I Infinity 3DP Xbox which is a Core XY machine that prints pretty fast. For the design I started to search on Google for some smart door locks to have some inspiration on how I could make it. And then I searched for some fingerprint sensors that worked with Arduino and I found one from Adafruit that works very very well and has a very well made library. After this I started to design the project on Fusion 360. The project is mostly 3D printed and I designed the logo with the open source symbol. I traced the contour and then I extruded the result. In fact, all of, of, of the files for this project will be available in the de description if you want to make it. The, then I, I, I just up, up applied some color and the project was done. As you can see here, there are three switches to control some of the functions. And then there are two of, of these motors that move this sort of gates to open and close the side for the keys to fall into and out of. And then there's this bigger motor with a larger gear that moves the fingerprint sensor. And this has a warm gear that then transforms the rotational mo movement into li linear movement. And this is for the fingerprint sensor. Then I wanted to make a keychain out of this design. So I copied the logo and then I made the, the keychain. It was pretty easy to, to make since it's just an hex hex hexagon with some chancers and text. And then this was also done. The electronics. The electronics. To make all of this work, I had to understand how the H bridge motor control worked. In my case, I had to reverse the polarity of the motors in order to m make them spin into opposite directions. And this can, can be achieved through the use of four MOSFETs that switch on and off to change the polarity of, of the wires. Then I had to choose the board that controlled all, all of these functions and 
I, I de decided to choose an Arduino na Nano due to its small size and many digital pins. In this case, we can see how the Nano has almost as many pins as an Arduino Uno while being much smaller and more ver versatile. And at the same time, it consumes very little power. And I started with the Arduino Nano and I, cho I chose one that had a USB connect connector that th then I, I had to get the N20 motors for the key slots and then the different types of MOSFETs and transistors And, and, and then I took a, as a backup a pre-made PCB with the L293D driver which sort of replicates the edge bridge motor con control but make, makes it easier to use. And this is the bill of materials for this project. Then there was the circuit. I started to simulate the circuit on Thinkercad and I created a DIY H bridge circuit based on PMOS and NMOS transistors and a relay. And here you can see how the voltage goes from positive to, ne to negative, showing how the mod would reverse direction. The Arduino code is pretty sim 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 simple. And then I tried the L293D driver circuit, which is much easier to, to, to use and needs much fewer wires. And I learned how, how to use it with this site that explains clearly how the driver works. In, in fact, this motor I see as a pretty simple op op operation and needs few digital pins. And here we can see how the direction of the motor changes. Then, after that the circuit was done, I had to create the PCB. And I used the PDF form of the schematic that, that, that I created on Thinkercad. And this made it much easier to create the PCB on KiCad. I decided to use KiCad due to its open source nature and also its ease of use. Transferring the design from from the PDF to KiCad was pre pretty si simple, ap apart from s s some footprints that, that, that had to be in manually inserted. But I learned all of, of this through, through a few YouTube tutorials. In fact, I think that KiCad is a, a very si si simple way to produ produce the app PCB.
Then I printed the schematic just to make sure that I knew which pins went to the fingerprint sensor and which pins to the three hexagonal bu buttons. And it was done. Once the design was re ready in KiCad, I co co connected each component through tr traces on the top la layer or on the bottom layer of, of the PCB. And I switched bin between one layer and the next through VS. And it's very nice that KiCad offers a way to show the PCB in a 3D model. And then I just added some logos on the PCB. Then I export the model into Fusion to make the correct alignment holes. And all that was left was to order the parts from PCB way. So I exported the Gerber files from KiCad and I uploaded them to PCB way. And it, it was very easy, easy to choose the correct options for the board and the, and the price was, was, was also very good. Then I ordered the parts that need to be made with an SLS machine and in this case I, cho I, I, I chose to make them out of nylon PA12 just, just for the durability and for the ease of printing. And finally, I ordered the keychain from PCB Wave with, 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 with their machining ser service. And like this, all of the parts were complete. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part two.